is I have epilepsy and I what they do is they put you in the hospital for about a week or so and you have all these like wires and things put um, on your head and plugged into this sort of big brick that you have to walk around with and you just basically sit in this hospital room um, where they've got these monitors and um, when you have a seizure then they will monitor what's going on and it will determine whether the seizure is actually epileptic or non-epileptic because there's, there's, well, there's lots of different types of epilepsy but um, sometimes it is to do with the brain and something happens and that's when you have a seizure but then you can also have one which is brought on by stress which is the type I have and what happens is is basically just part of the brain is like a safety mechanism it will shut down and that's when you have a seizure or an absence I mean I'll just be sitting there apparently so I've been told you know and I'll just go into this stare and they'll be saying Jeff you know Jeff 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 and like, I'm just staring this stare you know and then all of a sudden come out of it, I've never seen one, so I don't know, and I've never seen uh, myself have a seizure either, but, you know, um, when I went to this test, I had one, but it showed up as non-epileptic, so that means it's to do with stress, and part of the brain just closing down like a safety mechanism, but, you know, anyway, this video is about something else is while I was there of a night in the hospital I was snoring really loud and everyone could hear it all the nurses and everyone that were there throughout the night and they used to come in and go whoa you was really snoring last night <laughs> you know anyway the doctors come round and said look um, we're concerned about the snoring we'd like to test you for sleep apnea so I said okay no problem so what they do is they put this uh, it's like a it's a very simple thing it's just like a thing that attaches to your finger and they basically it monitors uh, your breathing and basically what happens with this condition is it can be two things I think that can um, actually cause it. One is the tongue can go back which stops you breathing and another is sort of, it's just a lot to do, you can get it if you're sort of overweight as well but it's this sort of part of the neck sort of constricts and it stops you breathing. So basically what happens is you'll snore and you'll breathe but then your airways get blocked and you'll stop breathing and this can be anything up to um, so anything from 5 to 20 seconds but what happens is you stop breathing and you wake up then obviously start breathing again and then you go back to sleep and then you stop breathing again and you wake up and this can occur anything from sort of 40, 50 times a night to over 100 times a night. I think I'd, they monitored me and it was 117 times. Now unbeknown to me, I was, no matter how much sleep I was getting, I woke up the next day really, really tired. Um, and I was like getting to the point where I wanted to take a nap sort of during the day and plus I was you know at the time I was I was depressed as well just thinking it was that that you know but I always found I sort of I know you can't always remember your dreams but I found I wasn't I couldn't remember dreaming the night before but it sort of turns out I wasn't sort of getting into that sleep where you do start to dream so I you know they said to me look you you woke 
goes through say eight hours nine hours of sleep and um, you know you're just not getting any sleep basically without knowing it and you have to sleep you, you need sleep sleep is so important <laughs> so so important that's why I thought I'd do this guys because it's I think sleep and ASMR is so related you know they've got you know because I have a lot of people that thank me for me helping them get to sleep because just me like talking like this is very very relaxing to a lot of people and it helps them just trip it off but they said you have sleep apnea and you know you you uh, stop breathing over a hundred times and been waking up so and they said do you feel tired during the day and everything I said yes I do I said I have been for like months and months um, and that's the thing so what it's it's a very simple thing uh, and they give you something called a CPAP a CPAP machine and um, basically what this machine does is you put a mask you can either have a full mask it depends on how you breathe at night if you're breathing through the mouth they'll give you a full mask but I tend to breathe more through the nose so they just give me this little um, thing that you put over the nose at night and um, at first I hated it because you have this pipe that comes out the back uh, and I, I've just found it uncomfortable because I wasn't used to sleeping with something over me like nose um, so I, I sort of um, really didn't like it at first and I thought oh I don't want it you know but I then read up on it and if you have sleep apnea and you don't use this CPAP machine not only are you um, not getting any sleep um, but it is also really not good for you it can cause heart disease and all this other stuff these horrible things and I thought maybe I'll on then because you know so I put it on and basically you, just, you sorry you basically just put it on and you turn it on this is it guys I've got it here um, this is the thing that goes over your head and this bit goes over your nose and you just switch it on like this
So if you've needed a lot of air pressure without actually needing it, it will cut the pressure down the next time based on all the information, you know, it, it gathers all the information as well. And what was cool was um, I started off, it was something like 13.5. So